Hello everyone. Um, I saw this new game, Dr. Mario World, on the App Store and I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I thought it would be fun to record a little walkthrough as I was playing. I used to play Dr. Mario all the time when it was on the original Nintendo with my family, either by myself or with my family. We would spend hours playing. So I thought this would be fun if it was like the original. Viruses have invaded everywhere. Both the Toads and Bowser's minions have been sent into a panic. Hunt down all the viruses and save everyone. So the first thing I noticed was that the music is like identical. Oh no, viruses have gotten everywhere. We better do something. Let's eliminate the viruses. To eliminate a virus, you need to use a capsule. I'll show you how to do it. So I noticed that the setup is completely different because the capsules are coming from the bottom instead of from the top. While holding the capsule, drag it onto the stage. If you let go, it will begin to rise toward the top of the screen. If the capsule collides with a virus or another object, it will stop moving. Once it stops moving, if three colors match vertically or horizontally, the virus will be eliminated. So that's pretty much the same as the original. Tap a capsule to rotate it. It can be helpful to rotate the capsule before moving it onto the stage too. Tap, hold, and drag the capsule to move it. You can't move a capsule back towards the bottom of the screen, so be careful. So that's a little different, because you're moving it onto the screen yourself, instead of it automatically coming down. Okay, we eliminated all the viruses. Go us. You have a limited number of capsules. The number in the top right of the screen shows how many are left. Eliminate all the viruses before you run out of capsules to clear the stage. If you run out of capsules, well, too bad. You'll have to try again. Well, he's not nice, is he? You'd better pay attention to how many capsules you have left. I guess this game instead is limiting the amount of capsules you have instead of just automatically sending down a million. Okay, stage one. Eliminate all the viruses. So I guess I should let you all know that I suck at video games, but I like playing them. So every level I'm showing, I got three stars. Might not be the fastest or best way to do it, but it's still three stars. So I'm not sure if they'll get harder as it goes along since these first few are more of a tutorial. But even though it's called Dr. Mario, it's really nothing like the original game, except that you're clearing the viruses. I feel like the original could be a lot more difficult. This seems rather easy. I'm not sure how I feel with the moving the capsules up instead of them automatically coming down. I guess that's easier on your phone, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it. I guess I'll see how the levels change as you move through the game. Ready? Go! So right here, 
I should have just put the capsule right up on the side and it would have got rid of the whole row instead of wasting three capsules, but it still worked. The things you see after you're done playing it. So as you move through the tutorial and into the real game, you start getting more features, like this little Mario on the left hand side helps, and and you get little tools that remind me of something like Candy Crush. You also can move the individual pieces of the capsules as you move into farther into the game. So after it separates, you can move it again, as long as it doesn't hit anything. Another thing I'm not so sure about is after you get through the tutorial, it limits you to five hearts and you need a heart to play. It's not like some of the other games like Candy Crush where you just need a heart or a life when you mess up. You need a heart to even play another level even if you win. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I guess it's just a, a ploy to get you to spend money and buy more lives. One other thing I kind of found a little odd is seeing Bells or in a doctor's outfit. I always think of him as being the bad guy. I don't know. Weird.
Ready? Okay, so thanks for watching. That was levels 1 through 10. If you enjoyed playing with me, check out my other videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.